Hello everyone, it is Millie X1 for YouTube. <clears throat> Back at it again. And this time I'm gonna be doing some random mercenary matches online in Resident Evil 5. And Resident Evil 5 is a game that I played a lot back, you know, on the PS3. But <laughs> let's just say things happen to the point where my PS3 is no longer 100% intact and it doesn't work the way it used to. But this this Resident Evil is the first Resident Evil. Well, should I say it's the first game that I ever had for PS3 before I, before I started buying extra games. Whew. So as long as I've been playing this game, well, one thing that I do know is that this isn't the most popular Resident Evil game there is out there. But it happens to be one of my favorite. And uh, the longer I've been playing this game, it seems more like I've been finding fewer and fewer players online that are still, you know, playing mercenaries. Sure. In fact, I think I've found more players playing mercenaries in Resident Evil 6 than I do on 5 nowadays. And in my opinion, I think... Uh, the mercenaries in Resident Evil 6 is just not as good as it is in 5. I mean, of course you got... You know, your character can... Uh, do... A lot more to... Uh, you know, avoid attacks. Ooh, there's a player already. Hopefully he's not a rage quitter. Okay, I guess I'll be going with... Wesker. Stars. But this video is basically about showing you the way I play mercenaries. I don't actually try to go for high scores. For for the main part. I mean, I can. That's... I always attempt it, though. But I don't make a big deal out of it if I fail. So this player that I'm currently playing mercenaries with. He's a random player. And he doesn't really know to press the touchpad. In order to skip the uh, speech. But I guess some players just love the voice of Jill Valentine. Lights out. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess it's up to me to collect the time bonuses. Unless he's going for the hardest one first, I'm not sure. Lights out! Was that a double kill? Okay. Good night. Tried to run behind them though, but apparently after you kill an enemy, the body doesn't let you walk past it until it completely dissolves. And I'm running out of handgun ammo. Okay, that's definitely a double kill right there. He's gonna keep walking past me like that. <laughs> okay.
I did not see him there. Yeah, it gives me magnum ammo, but no handgun ammo. Hold on a second. Wesker really doesn't need that magnum. This shotgun is enough. But I'm not able to melee my enemies without handgun ammo. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the thing when it comes to ammo in mercenary mode. Like, if if your teammate is not using the ammo that she's currently carrying or that they're currently carrying, then it won't spawn on the ground. If they're not using that ammo or they're not giving it to you, then it won't spawn. After I kill enemies. So, um, I would suggest that you either use it or drop it. Because giving it to me could be a waste of time. But it's definitely an even bigger waste of time if you're just holding it and not using it. See, that's why Wesker doesn't really need that Magnum. Because he could just stun the uh, Executioner. With just a handgun, with one shot. It was in your best interest to assist me. It was in your best interest to assist me. Okay, I was taking awful shots right there. Yeah, I couldn't see him. Okay, so now some handgun and we'll start to spawn on the ground for me. That's just what I want. I'm getting all these healing items. How often do you see Wesker get healing items?
Okay, now we got Fat Man with Genie. <laughs> that was my phone. May as well combine it and use it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just it's like every time I uh, get hit better, I'm basically trying to avoid getting hit better as an enemy. But unfortunately, when the Scylla does that move, Decent throw. Closed. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't a bad run. Yeah, he's probably gonna leave after this, though. Cause I know how serious players can be in mercenary mode. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm judging that all players are like that way, but. I just know. <laughs> I've seen them. But he's pretty good too. He's a pretty good player. Okay, there we go. He actually pressed the touchpad this time. Ah! Blow the head off and they still able to hit me. Okay. Yeah, when I'm stumping them on the ground, I usually aim for the here. Because if you don't, then it's just too high of a chance that it won't kill them. And you got to do the same with Rebecca, too. Like when you're stumping them on the ground, aim for the here. Yeah. 
it only works that way. If my uh, character is facing my partner's direction, only then can uh, they give that kind kind of compliment on headshots and uh, a chain melee. Huh? You know, I'm chicken. I'm hungry. Give me some chicken. There we go. <laughs> I don't even think I need that gold egg, though. I'm gonna take it anyway. If I had to uh, name a very good reason why I like this mercenary mode better than the one in Resident Evil 6, it's the way we reload. Because there's more than one way to reload. Since I found the. They got two red arms. Yeah, well, may as well get that green one. If it's still in here, like I can just remote reload through the uh, inventory menu, and that's the fastest way to reload. Get clones, get that max damage, but unfortunately, see how I reload right there. That it doesn't take that much practice to do it. As long as you know how to, as long as you know where to, uh, or at least as long as you know how you want to position your things in your side your inventory. Like for example, I always have my handgun ammo at the top right here, so. Whenever I need to reload, I just do like that. And I'm out of here anymore. Somehow. Okay, I found more. Uh, I forget that my clip was empty. On my handgun no more. On my on my handgun, that's what I meant. <laughs> Run up, run up. He's out. And one thing that makes it more difficult finding the ammo that you're trying to find for the gun that you're carrying is if a, is if your partner picks you know, this, a character that has the same type of gun, they use the same type of ammo. That makes it harder, too.
Oh no! Uppercut. Okay. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Back up! Okay, how did that not stop him? <laughs> Uppercut! There we go. Probably should have used the egg. Yes, that yes, that back to avoid that uh flare bottle. That flame bottle you might whatever it's called, Molotov. Alright. How many of these things are gonna sprout? Yeah. So much for avoiding that. Okay, bouncing grenade off the wrong. <laughs> and I'm out of shotgun shields. There you go, I'll take care of this. Boom! That's how you do it. So that was another good run. So nice to see this player is having fun, cause if you want you to learn how to play mercenaries in Resident Evil 5, or at least in the way that I do, then it is very fun. Yeah, just saw some ammo I can't use. Whenever I find ammo I can't use, I just leave it on the ground. I don't pick it up, try to give it to my partner. Because that takes too much effort, believe it or not. Is the chicken down there? Just in case it was, I just used that flare. But I don't think it was down there this time. Yeah, let it go there. Maybe I did get him. <laughs> Cause they usually let go eggs after it's dead. <laughs> You know, that's that's what spawns after you kill them. But sometimes they can't just lay them and they still be alive. So that's three full heals right there. So I'm going to get these time bonuses up here.
Good night. Guess who's next? Did you die already? <laughs> My shooting is getting horrible. <laughs> Maybe it's just the controls on. Oh, snaps? It's time to back up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my partner helped me out on that one. He's not fearing too well. So I may as well give him a little here. Really? I'm out of grenades. <laughs> At least that thing is dead.
Yeah, this is definitely a bad situation. I'm out of hand getting them all, yeah. Let's see if I can shake out of this. There we go. Or maybe he helped me. <laughs> Yeah, found a grenade. I usually try to get as close as I can to these things as they open up like that. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a bad situation. Chris, BSA, Chris, he has the weakest shotgun in the game. Well, at least the mercenary. May as well use that gold in. That flash, nah, that's not a flash grenade. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, my boy. I was just surrounded. That's what happened. And I'm still out of hand getting them all. Come on. Yeah, the game was it's still okay. I mean, at least this run. I guess we could switch stages now. If this random player is still eager to stay. <laughs> Yeah, Zelda's probably the best character in Mercenaries right now. Her and, uh, Baron. But I'm pretty much good with all the uh, characters in Mercenaries. Except maybe for Tribal Shaven. <laughs> because it's hard to get a melee combo with her. Shaven does not need the sniper rifle, because it only slows her down. <laughs> Could have sworn he got me, but I was able to react fast enough to shoot him off me or shoot him before he actually hit me. And it did look like he hit me too.
That double fang is king. I hate it when I try to melee an enemy, it has me pick something up and steal. I'm going for the guarantee kill. Picking up that red herb. I gotta find time to discard this uh, rifle ammo since I discarded my rifle. I'm not gonna wait all day for that guy to hop over that little fence. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get some time bonus and just. Thanks for jumping down. Give me that double fang. Yeah, failed the combo, but it's alright. My partner, had, my partner had me worried there for a second. He was just taking severe damage. Double Fang. Didn't finish him though. Ah. Flash grenade, very important for this stage right here because of the mutant dongs. Sometimes they could uh, transform into like a. Yeah, these dongs, they could transform to like a. Like a wide. Like a like a virus uh, transformation with a wide mouth. It only takes a flash grenade to kill him. Well, I mean, it only only it doesn't only take a flash grenade though. But the flash grenade would be the best thing to kill him once the dogs transform into like a gobbler, you might say. This is where that fl see that dog right there, that gobbler. Whenever you see one like that, just use a flashbang.
If you have one. If you don't have a flashbang, you gotta throw everything you can at it until it dies. Stick it down the mic, stick it down the mic. Okay. Yeah, I saw that stick it down the mic on the ground. So I decided to run away from that. You see, they just running around with a stick of dynamite. Like, hey, look what I got here! <laughs> yeah, I gotta kill that dog immediately. Could I shoot another arrow at me? Yeah, <sighs> always another one. Where the heck are you? Oh. That was too close. Oh, no, you don't. What does it take to kill that dog? All right, dear. Yeah. <laughs> What the heck? Her. Double fang? Finish him, there you go. Huh, KFC. Yeah, the smallest things are always the hardest to shoot. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs>
Okay, that'll be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed my little mercenary uh, playthrough in Resident Evil 5. Feels good to be back to playing it since I haven't played it in a while. But I'm pretty sure as far as you saw, my skills hasn't, hasn't gotten that rusty. But anyway, I'm Millie S1 once again. I'll catch you guys later.